Hey guys, this is Lynette, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about some aerobic gymnastics trainings and the benefits for fitness. But first, I want to direct your attention to the link at the bottom of the video. It's down there in the description portion. And when you click on it, it's going to open up a new window so you will not lose this information. And it's about a weight loss product that I highly recommend. It's called Shred Fatty Fat, and they make it for both men and women. So go ahead and click on that link now and check it out. I know that you will enjoy that information as much as this. Um, basically, what you want to do is kind of see what, you know, aerobics gymnastics is all about, um, and see what the different, um, advantages are at different steps, because there's all kinds of different ones. First, we'll talk about aerobic fitness. Obviously, it can be described as a program or an activity for physical fitness that involves rigorous and continued exercise. This form of fitness was popularized, obviously, in the 70s, and it just kind of goes in to talk about you know what it is, the different types, and so on. So obviously I'm gonna go on the assumption that most of us know what that means. So we're gonna go straight into gymnastics training. Um, without doubt, technical ability and preparation is paramount in gymnastics training. However, technique can only be applied with the boundaries of physical fitness, be it a strength, power, or an aerobic capacity. Uh, by developing a sport specific base of strength, power, and flexibility, proper technique can be coached and acquired more easily. Um, unfortunately, strength training is, in sport is often misunderstood. Um, basically, you know, it kind of boils down to um, what kind of gymnastics you're looking at. Um, a little article here called Body Fat Percentages and Overview and uh, What Gets Measured and Doesn't. Because in gymnastics, that is really, really important. Um, to, basically, um, in gymnastics, when you take this to a competition level, your BMI plays a huge role. And um, that's something that you really have to consider, especially when you're getting children involved in gymnastics. It's a wonderful sport um, and competition sport, but it can be very competitive and cutthroat as well. And, well, the bottom line is it's, it's for some and it's not for some. The sport of gymnastics requires physical fitness for an athlete to successfully complete required skills on an all apparatus. Technique, precision, and grace are obviously incorporated in each skill. So to measure, to master required skills and perform routines, a gymnast must possess specific physical fitness components. There's five components of fitness for gymnastics, which include body comp, flexibility, muscular strength, and muscular endurance, and cardiorespiratory endurance. And here we're going to talk about them. Uh, body composition is necessary fitness component of gymnastics because it's the association between fat, muscle, and bone within the body. The body fat percentage of a male gymnast, like I was just mentioning, it only is like between 5 to 12 percent. While the body mass for female gymnasts is between 10 to 16 percent. Adequate bone density and lean muscle mass provide the adequate strength and support to performing taxing gym skills. As far as flexibility, obviously that kind of flexibility and and uh, gymnastics kind of go hand in hand when we first think of things like this. The ability to move a joint through a complete range of motion. Elite gymnasts possess a superior flexibility and as this fitness component allows them to hyperextend their legs, execute various jumps and tumble forward and backward. Then you have your muscular strength, muscular endurance, and then the cardiorespiratory endurance. So you can see how fitness is so important with gymnastics.